That was low. Oh, that was right. That was low. That was right there where you don't want to get hit. And I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Grass and Chuck on his feet for a few minutes. Stand the rules so you're fine too. Protect yourself all times, obey my commands all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Push back. Judge, judge, bit judge, so that, timekeeper. I wonder if there was a consideration maybe even deducting a point for something like well, that. It's, it's an illegal, you know, maneuver to do. But I mean, I'm surprised he's maybe getting some sort of penalty afterwards. Either way, here we go. Andre Grossenchuk and the white gloves. Bruno Chavez in the black. Break! Break! Chavez is a monster. Six foot six. Break! Over 280 pounds. Chavez, good with his oh, movement. Nice but left hand snuck in there for Chavez. Break. Yeah, but I, I feel he no wants the pressure Watch because you know Grass and Chuck is good Break. with his, his kicks. So good uppercuts nice and body, body shot. The right and then the Mitchell. knee sinks the Belarus One. fighter down. Two. Nice Three. calm composure from Four. Chavez. Five, nice six, level changing. seven, eight. Gloves up. This is the Break. glory debut for Garaz and Chuck, and it has been a nightmare the first 50 seconds. Break. Chavez did predict Break. a second round finish. He might have a first round. If he can continue to pressure and mix levels with those body oh. rips, that was low. Oh, oh, that was man. right. That was low. <laughs> that was right there where you don't want to get hit. And I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Grass and Chuck on his feet for a few minutes. Wow. Especially because he was hurt to the body. I mean, bad timing for Chavez to get that low blow. You can hear the heavy breathing. Andre, I'm sorry. Andre. From this side, from on your side, on your side. So you want to be a kickboxer. Watch this. You see Chavez wanting to rip the body. Oh. Yeah, you even see Chavez's face. Yeah, oh, he knew that was a bad one too. Straight in the carrot and onions. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> wow. You have been hit that hard there, Joe? I don't know. It's You have to be the person there to feel it. I've been hit hard a few times. But Garas and Chuck, the, the question is, will he get up? I mean, after being knocked down once, maybe he's not feeling great Let in the see. fight. Let me see. Who knows? But that was a bad low blow. Already got caught using illegal gloves. Has cool. been knocked down and then struck, struck down. down. Yeah. Not the debut. Grass and Chuck planned for. I mean, that is literally as hard as you can get hit in that area. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's getting up though. A 280-pound black belt jujitsu 24-1 kickboxer with a knee as hard as he can throw it right in your crotch. Oh, and it hurts watching. And that hurt Chavez too. We're gonna see if Chavez's knee is swollen from that one. Yeah. Is what it is. So I believe if he can't continue with this, this would be declared a no contest. Like I would guess so. I mean, or I don't think there's been enough time for you know to go to the scorecard. It's only been a, a minute and nine seconds. Now you do wear a lot of protection down there. Yeah. Well, I mean, most fighters should be wearing a steel cup. I know a lot of uh, sanctioning bodies have mandatory steel cut, but regardless, after you hit that hard, the cup won't do much. I'm sure there's some portion of the viewing audience right now that says the only way to make this fair going forward is for Grass and Chuck to walk over to Chavez and get a free knee shot right there. Eye for an eye. <laughs> knee or for a knee. For a knee. Now, before the shot to the groin, there was not a legit knockdown. Let's see that. It was a body shot, Joe. Yeah, and Chavez, you know, I thought he was going to be able to move a little bit, but he went right after Grass and Chuck. 
And he kind of punched upstairs, mixed in that nice right uppercut, which caused Grasinchuk to kind of raise his body. And then Chavez doing the body rip. And it looked like it was that right hook that put Grasinchuk down. Yep, hard uppercut, left hook, body. Went upstairs. Good mixing of angles and levels. He gets five minutes, Joe, but I don't know if it'll be enough. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Well, growing up, Rosenchuk wanted to be a doctor. If he's uh, self-diagnosing himself right now. Chuck's been absent from competition. His last fight under pro rules was back in January of 2017, so almost three years. And his last fight was over a win over Philippe Micheletti, who fights on the Glory roster. And this is an unwelcoming return to kickboxing for the man from Belarus. I mean, if, when you get hit hard, low, it's you get that nauseous feeling, and that's the worst part. Your, your gas tank goes down. You feel like you want to throw up. It's not the best feeling to fight with after that. It's one thing to be able to stand up and walk around and whatever, but he has to stand up and fight that monster from yeah, Brazil over exactly. there. Exactly. You gotta think he's only 216 pounds fighting a, a monster in Chavez. I mean, Joe, you fought at 170 pounds. It'd be like you fighting someone who weighed 240. Yeah, it's insane. I just like that the, the Chinese fans are being very respectful. I mean, that's got to be it. Come on. Yes or no, now. Paul Nichols. Yeah. It's forcing a no. him to make no. a decision. It's a no, and that will do it. It's over. So we'll see what the official decision is here. But it's not the way either man wanted this to go, especially Garasicho. He wanted a good fight. He wanted to use his kicks. He's fought some glory veterans in the past, but Chavez did look good as well. So hopefully we see Chavez back again. Here is one final time. Ooh, hopefully for the last time, that's for sure. Right through the steel wow. cup, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that wasn't even close to the body. It was a fight Chavez was winning rather handily.